All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Hope you guys are doing well. I want to let you guys see the Bitcoin chart here from um, back when it had that massive bull run that looks like the stock market bull run it had, you know, with this one. And, and you know what? This bull run was also fake as well. It was printed by uh, Tether. Tether was printing a lot of fake USDs out of, out of thin air, and they were buying up all the Bitcoin. And so we went to 20,000, and then they stopped. And when they stopped, you know, Mount Gox came in and started to sell their coins into the open markets. They would take the coins from Mount Gox, send them onto the exchanges, and they would dump the coins. This is why you would start to see all these big sell-offs. Got a lot of people buying, and then Mount Gox comes and crushes everybody. Okay? So... This is basically the um, stock market is doing the same thing. Stock market started going QE1, QE2, QE3 under Obama. And then Donald Trump's continued QE uh, secretly, uh, hiding it under repo operations and calling it different names. And then now we finally have QE4 announced they can't hide it anymore because people have been calling them out. And we went all the way up to 29,000. And then we saw a, um, you know, started to see that drop. And, uh, and then we came down to 18,000, held that, that temporary support, just like we did here on Bitcoin. That temporary support came in on Bitcoin at 5,859, and then we held it for a while. You see there? So we held it for a while. A while we basically, you can draw a triangle pattern here. We squeezed that pattern, and then we broke bearish, and we went down to $3,000 right and we held on that 200 moving day average uh that 50 day moving day average excuse me okay on the monthly chart so that's what bitcoin uh did on there it squeezed um and uh yeah and tethers you know basically starting around here you know that thousand area well basically started after i called my buy signal at 500 dollars. that's when the big money started moving in um, and that call was, when, when did I call that? That was, wow, time has flown by because that was, that was 2016. Yeah. Wow. So when would you get to 500 bucks? Let's see. 500 bucks was, where was 500 bucks at? Hold up. Let me go to the candle. 500 bucks. No, that's not 500. That's not five. That's not five. Where was 500 bucks at? And it was, it's uh, 568 there. When did I call the when did I call the buy signal on Bitcoin? It was 2016, but I don't know when in October, November. I think it was October, September. September we were at the low was 568. Is that when I called it? It had to be, yeah, it had to be September because you can see the start. We we started the rise there okay so somewhere around here august we were at low 483 uh we closed around 572 and in september we were at where we were in the fives and the lows there and then the highs in the six so it had to be somewhere around here is where i called that buy signal on bitcoin at 500 dollars. all right so and then somewhere around here is when the uh, USDT tether started thinking, you know what? Let's just pump the freaking coin up to twenty thousand, and then cra and then basically crash it on people, <laughs> okay? So and make a lot of money and make ourselves wealthy billionaires, and that's what they did. But you could have also been done the same thing if you had listened to my buy signal back here. <laughs> so so you know what I mean? Like we all could be we all could be in the same position as they were. Just because people cheat doesn't mean you can't make money off of it, right? So for my buy signal down here at seven at five hundred bucks, you guys could have also became worth hundreds of millionaires and billionaires as well. Okay, so and then they crash and then they crash it down. And but look, that temporary support was held. If you go to Bitcoin's monthly chart, that's where we're at right now. The only difference I think between Bitcoin and, and the Dow is that, in my opinion, I don't know why it's taking so long to, to twitch over here. Do I need to pause the video? So, <laughs> like, what's going on? Did it, did it freeze up or something? 
All right, I'm gonna pause the video and come back. All right, I'm back. All right, so that was that was pretty weird. But you can see, we like it wasn't like we we went parabolic, you know. I mean, we we were going steady, going up, you know, and some downs and up. We didn't have that parabolic rise. Um, now, if you look at the overall chart, maybe it does look like we did go parabolic. Um, but on the daily, uh, the monthly one here, we didn't go parabolic like we did on the Bitcoin chart. But you can see, and then March is down as well, right? They got, and then so we hit that support line somewhere around in this 18,000 area here, okay? So 18,000, maybe even breaching 17,000 at one point, did we? Let me see. I think it was, I think that was on like uh, after hours or, or, or uh, futures. I think we broke 17, but I don't think on the actual trading, we, we I don't think we broke 17 on trading. So 18,200, okay. So somewhere around here, okay, and so that's going to be the the uh, temporary bottom for now, an eighteen thousand, you know, two hundred range on the trading day, and uh, the only difference I I see between Bitcoin and the Dow is that Bit the the uh, the Dow was has been pumping fake money since twenty uh, two thousand and nine, okay, so that's a big difference, two thousand and nine all the way to 2020 and we're still pumping fake money in now so it's different because once we hit uh you know when when tether was doing it we only did it for a certain amount of period and then and then um and then they stopped and then they allowed mom gox to basically start crashing the markets down okay so here we're still pumping fake money so i think I think that that crash lasted a long time, like two years. Donald Trump can't allow a, a crash to last two years. He needs the crash to be over, like, immediately, right? And because they're still pumping fake money, that's going to allow the crash to happen immediately, right? So we're, we're in the crash now. We're in the pause of that crash. And so the next thing we're going to see is the stimulus package could be completely, because we, um, the stimulus package was approved, uh, was agreed upon yesterday, approved today by votes early this morning by the Senate, and now it's going to be shipped to the House, okay, representatives, and then the House is going to have to agree on it, and then they'll send it to the president to sign off on it. I think once we see that, according to my friends, my prophetic friends, right, uh, and they need to pray a little bit more on it, but once we see that, we're supposed to then see the revaluation record in our next, and then the completion of the crash. That's why they're holding it up here over 20,000, because Kim Clement was talking about that 20,000 range to be the uh, uh, the signal of an, of the RV and when the RV took place. So every time they, they it drops to, I'm trying to, it tries to drop one to $20,000, the feds are pumping. That's why the feds announced unlimited amount of money, because unlimited amount of QE injection, because they don't want it to fall under 20000 until the, the, the stimulus package and the RV are completed, and then they will let it crash, in my, in, in their opinion. Okay, that's, that's them. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. Okay, that, that's what it looks like. That sounds good to me, and I'll take it if that's the case if that's what happens okay but they're definitely keeping the markets up over twenty thousand right now as we have set that temporary bottom in okay so you know so what's next so the house of representatives will receive the stimulus package they'll fight about it complain about it it's all a game it's all scripted we all know that already um, and then they'll finally pass it at some sometime in April, and then uh, and then it will go to the president, and the president will coordinate with Iraq most likely on on okay, I'm going to sign it, and and we're gonna make it into law, and you do your thing, and we can do it at the same time. You know, you know what I mean? So ours is gonna be on the big screen, yours is gonna be right underneath the bottom. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know how they're gonna coordinate it, but. We saw Soleil with the gloves, the white gloves on, just like my friend saw in the dream. So we we, we have to be close. <laughs> that was that was the signal, okay? Um, that was a signal that we were going to be close when we see uh, somebody with white gloves holding documents. So and they like her dream. So, you know, it's got to be close. So Zarfi's trying to get in there, you know, as a prime minister. And he's an Amer American, uh, Iranian, so uh, or Iranian-American, okay? Or oh, not Iranian, but Iraqi-American, excuse me. So that's what we wanted. We wanted somebody that was, you know, pro-America pro and maybe half-American, right? <laughs> Disguising himself as an, as an Iraqi. 
Uh, the script on the uh, on the uh, Iranian puppets, right? That the, uh, those Iraqi people that are in government that pretend to be Iraqi, but they're really Iranian. We're now putting in people. We're now bringing in people that are you know that are Iraqi, but they're actually American. Okay, we're gonna flip the script on uh, flip the script on them. Okay, but um, as you can see here. Uh, we're gonna hold here for for a while until the st stimulus package is not a while, but we're gonna hold here for a couple more weeks. Um, Bo Polony was talking about something like the uh, by by the time his cycle is over around that April twentieth, twenty first, it's gonna be really bad for the market. That's what he was saying in the, in in his interviews uh, several weeks ago. So that ending of that cycle will be really bad. So that's so we got to look at that area that 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 fifteenth. That that um 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20, 21 area. That 13 to 21 area could be the area of the final run into that 6,000. Well, first we got to stop here at 13,000 on the monthly chart, and then um, we'll see what happens from there. Okay, so we're we're looking for another five-way pattern. So we're holding right now in the pause. We call it the global reset pause. Okay, and then we're gonna maybe start another five-way pattern to go one. All the way down to maybe uh, you know, eight thousand maybe to ten thousand, and then finish it up with five-way pattern at around six thousand. Okay, so could happen. Uh, we don't wait, but I, I, it looks like we have another five-way pattern that's going to happen uh, very shortly, uh, and that could be within the next three weeks. Okay, within the next three weeks after the stimulus. Maybe after the revaluation of Iraqi dinar, um, we could see that next leg, that next five final wave, wave down, five wave down uh, into that 6,000 area for wave five. Peace out. God bless. Uh, we'll see how it all plays out, won't we? And uh, hopefully we're on. you guys are on the right side. And it's interesting because the stimulus packages and then the checks I could literally come out when everything's crashing, right? It could be sent to your house. When everything is crashing and the, and there's a new and your currency is now devalued, uh, you know, down to 75 uh, on the index and uh, everything is just crashing. There's nothing. You know, what I mean, like that's how evil the, the government is like literally they'll literally wait until the, the complete crash and then you'll get your checks in the mail and you and that money can't buy you anything. Right. <laughs> it's unbelievable. But anyways, I think the USD is still going to be OK, even if it goes down the devalues to 75. 70 range is still going to have power um and then um just not as much power as it used to but it's still going to have power um and donald trump could always come out with the uh, u.s treasury reserve notes as well to run side by side with it it's not like you can't have another you know another currency to run just like we have cryptocurrencies running side by side we have gold and silver so we could have the the u.s treasury reserve notes back with one third gold running side by side with the uh with the fed dollar i mean we could do that as well uh, it's not impossible anyways peace out god bless see you guys next video